Einstein Choice was a trial presented at ACC, um, a late-breaking uh, clinical trial, that addressed the question of treatment of patients with venous thromboembolism for, with extended treatment with uh, rivaroxaban versus aspirin. And this is a important issue, and the trial um, is, is built on the knowledge that, that after an initial three to six to 12 months of treatment of venous thromboembolism, that aspirin will reduce recurrence, and that anticoagulants, and specifically some of the NOACs, will reduce recurrent thromboembolism in an extended treatment paradigm. What this trial did was it compared aspirin with a NOAC for the first time, and specifically with two doses of rivaroxaban, with either a 10 milligram once a day dose or a 20 milligram once a day dose. And these were patients, all they'd all gotten between three and six months of treatment with, um, uh, with uh, anticoagulation already for their venous thromboembolism. And then they were randomly assigned to an additional one year of treatment. And these were patients where there was equipoise, where the investigators thought it was reasonable either to continue treatment or, or not with an anticoagulant. And, um, um, and in fact, there also was a mixture of, of provoked and unprovoked DVT, which is important because Generally, we think that for, for unprovoked DVT, that we should consider continuing with anticoagulation for longer term. The results of the trial showed that, in fact, rivaroxaban either dose reduced recurrent venous thromboembolism by about 75%. So the numbers were with aspirin, it was 4.4%, and then it was um, about 1 to 1.5% with rivaroxaban. The point estimate was actually for an even greater relative risk reduction with the 10 milligrams, but they were about the same. It wasn't powered to show a difference between the two doses of rivaroxaban, but nonetheless, 10 milligrams of rivaroxaban reduced recurrent VTE by about 75%. And importantly, uh, there was no increased risk of bleeding. So major bleeding, there were, major bleeding was very low, uh, rates in, in all the arms, but there was no increase in uh, major bleeding with rivaroxaban. So the bottom line is then that the 10 milligrams of rivaroxaban looks like a really good choice for patients where one is considering extended therapy to prevent recurrent venous thromboembolism after an initial anticoagulation period for VTE. And, 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 and I think this is important. It's, it, it will provide an additional option and the lower dose treatment had the, had the favorable efficacy risk profile such that I think now it becomes a very reasonable choice for um, extended treatment for VTE.